diamonds in the rough. NFL Draft Diamonds. Time to shine. Hi, my name is Jimmy Williams with NFL Draft Diamonds. And here with me today, I have one of these diamonds in the rough. His name is Rodney Sampson. He's a linebacker at a Merrimack. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Uh, great, great to great have me on here. Appreciate it. So uh, here lately, Merrimack's been uh, churning out some, you know, decent talent. So, I mean, uh, obviously you're in the mix there for one of these guys that um, uh, is should be uh getting an opportunity at a pro uh you know organization here soon so um i followed a little bit of your uh history but why don't you kind of uh take the reins there and start us out and tell me where you're from and uh, how you got there to merrimack uh i'm from westchester new york i uh, went to iona prep uh down in new Rochelle. uh i was recruited uh i had a couple of d2 offers coming out of high school uh, and then I went on my rec recruitment night to Merrimack, fell in love with it, and then been there since 2017. Uh, yeah. Nice. So, um, dude, in my notes, I actually had that you were um, recruited as an offensive player. Is that correct? I was. Uh, I was recruited to play uh, linebacker. Oh, not. I was recruited to play running back uh, at Merrimack at first. So my freshman year, I was a running back. Nice. Um. Uh, but let's kind of uh, take a step back there in high school. Um, obviously, um, you you played uh, the offensive position there uh, on the gridiron. Um, but um, did you participate in anything else outside of football, like any other sports? Uh, just track and field. I was a triple jumper. Triple jumper. That's interesting. <laughs> um, so um, obviously, uh, you chose to pursue the game of football. Um, so certainly love the game, at least to some extent. Uh, tell me why you love this game, man. Uh, I mean, football is really the only sport that I really know. I've been playing the game since I was three years old. I'm 23 now. So for 20 years, <laughs> I've been playing football. And that's all I've been grinding and working for, you know, is to make it to that next, that that pro professional level. Yeah. So um, if, hey, man, if it's all you know, that's just how it <laughs> is. So um, growing up in, in New York, I mean, um, I guess what would that make you? Would that make you a Giants fan or or, or a Jets fan or just a football fan? Let's leave it at that. <laughs> uh, the thing is, if I were to choose between the Giants and the Jets, I would I would take the Giants. I can't be a Jets fan, but uh, me personally, I'm a Saints fan because uh, Reggie Bush was my favorite favorite college player growing up. So I remember in sixth grade, I even switched my number to number five my last year just so I can be like Reggie. Awesome. So. <laughs> and then, then, of course, I mean, with you as a running back there, um, certainly one of the best uh, to come out um, uh, several years back now. I mean, what was about 15 years or more. Um, that's when Reggie came out and uh, really exploded onto the scene, had, a, you know, had some su success there with Saints uh, winning a Super Bowl, I believe. So um, uh, great. Um, also, uh, awesome. Uh, college uh video game you know thing for him so i used to play him on uh ncaa and uh, rack up like 300 rushing yards so uh, i believe it was ncaa 2005 he was on the cover <laughs> right right that was the one that i loved so it was, i really appreciate that one um anyhow rodney uh let's get to talking some more about you and your uh story so i uh, found your way there to merrimack um, dude, tell us about Merrimack. I mean, uh, maybe not a lot of people know about Merrimack, Merrimack. So, uh, what makes it so special to you? Uh, what made Merrimack special to me is, uh, I would say the brotherhood. I know a lot of schools like preach, oh, brotherhood and we're all connected, but at Merrimack, you actually feel the brotherhood, uh, when you're on the field and off the field, uh, you can always count on the person next to you. And when you're in the trenches and times get rough, we lean on each other and then you just, we just hope for success. And then that was the outcome for this past year for us. Nice. Um, and what, were, what have you been able to accomplish there as a student? I mean, I'm assuming you've already graduated at least once since yeah. you've been there for a minute. So uh, talk to me about you uh, academically there at Merrimack. Uh, so I finished uh, my undergrad uh, in health science. I have my bachelor's in that. And I'm in my master's program right now for exercise and sports science. So hopefully nice. be with that in the next couple months. 
Awesome, man. So um, nice to be able to uh, have that under your belt. Um, uh, so uh, hypothetically, man, like if, uh, you know, football wasn't there, maybe 10, 15 years down the line, um, what do you see yourself doing? I mean, um, are you going to try and stay in uh, the football world a little bit? Are you going to try and do something else? Um, uh, where is that? Uh, where is that major going to lead you? Um, for the longest, I was thinking physical therapy uh, because I had injuries uh, throughout my time at Merrimack. So just working with athletes, helping them get through in injuries and getting them back to where they want to be, things like that sort. Or uh, I even considered uh, nursing as well. Interesting. Um, uh, since you had mentioned uh, the whole injury thing, man, um, I, I, I kind of just feel like I need to park there for just a minute. Um, going through struggles is something truly that defines people in their own personal character um can you um walk me through you um going through the injury that you did and um how you were able to persevere and become really a better character uh, when it was all said and done uh okay so with my injury uh i consider it a curse and a blessing at the same time because it kind of shaped my college career so 2017 uh i finished uh, my season as a running back i was an all-conference running back all rookie team in the ne10 uh, and then coming into that spring, uh, I I injured my right foot. Uh, I had a list frank injury. So I dislocated all five toes and ruptured two ligaments in my right foot. And <laughs> and that was just one of those things where it was like, there's nothing I could do about it. And uh, several doctors were telling me, you know, I don't know if you'll be able to run the same. Like, I don't know if football will be the best thing for you. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't heard it from doctors and even, you know, some of my family members told me like, I don't know if football is the best thing because, you know, something like this, you know, like there's no one that really went through something like this so with all five toes and ligaments and stuff like that. So uh, I think that's what really pushed me to really come back even better. So physical therapy, you know, the minute I was out the boot, I tacked it, I was lifting every day. Uh, I ended up missing that 2018 season. So when I came back in 2019, uh, the coaches switched me and Tyler Roberts' uh, position. So I went to defense, and then he went to offense. And then uh, from there, it was just uh, history. I just started playing defense and then making my plays. Interesting. Well, I mean, uh, certainly linebackers worked out for you overall. I mean, I know um, uh, you've done well uh, racking, racking up some tackles, also named uh, first team all conference uh, at least a couple times. So yes, uh, uh, kudos to you uh, for that. Um, uh, so um, uh, talk about that defense. Again, you said you made that switch uh, to, um, you know, play linebacker. Um, talk about where you're, uh, you know, how you're utilized um, there on that defense as a linebacker inside out upside down, however you want to describe it, man. Uh, talk to me about uh, your defense. Okay. So my first year on defense, uh, I was, I was like our strong safety Rover type. Uh, I was mainly like on the tight end, setting the edge on the defense, playing man coverage, things of that sort. Um, and then in the 2020 season, that's when I moved inside uh, to our mic position inside backer. And uh, I just thought that was a, that was the best fit for me. I uh, get to just, read uh read the interior and then just fly to the ball side on the sideline interesting um so for me um and i don't know if you have gotten this uh, feedback before but to me uh, it's almost as if you might transition better to like even like the safety position um because i mean at least you know going back to your time as an offensive player you know, dude, if you can step back and be able to see everything, um, I do feel like you could, you know, do an excellent job. I mean, has anyone given you any sort of feedback as to maybe how you would transition from the college to the pro scene? Uh, I've definitely heard um, a couple of scouts. They've asked me, like, would I, would I mind playing safety or things of that sort? And, I mean, I'll play any position on the field. I mean, I was a linebacker kick returner. So, I mean, I have the ability to move with the ball and without the ball. So, uh, you just got to put me put me on the field and give me a helmet. <laughs> linebacker kick returner, man. I mean, we never, ever see a linebacker who also is a kick returner. So uh, certainly something very unique. I mean, I feel like, dude, you bring a lot of versatility to the table. What do you feel separates you as a prospect? Is it that or maybe perhaps something else? Uh, I would definitely say my versatility is what separates me uh, because I've shown film where I'm carrying the ball as a running back. 
and I'm tackling the ball on defense. And then on special teams, I played all four special teams. So you can always see Rodney Sampson on the field. You just, I'm just there. <laughs> So, um, I mean, certainly probably first thing that you're going to do once you get into the pros is kind of establish yourself on special teams. So uh, the good thing is, is you got some experience there, which which certainly helps. So, um, uh, Rodney, also, you were named a team captain. Um, so I do want to acknowledge that. Um, talk to me about you as a team captain, what it means to you, and maybe even your own personal leadership skills that you can bring to the table. Okay. Um, I felt like being voted team captain was uh very special to me because I'm not very uh I would say uh talkative and outgoing when it comes to like talking to the team. I'm not the type to just yell and scream and get everybody riled up, but everyone saw how hard I worked and just my commitment to the team. So I think that rubbed off on everybody else and and then uh just made everybody else work harder because they saw, you know, if, if Rod can do it and it's working out for him, let me try doing the same thing. So it's one of those lead by example type was my leadership style. Well, I mean, and again, dude, when you're doing literally everything, um, you know, you you kind of get a whole lot of people that are, uh, you know, drawn to you. And, uh, you know, here, hey, here's a guy with a lot of ability. Uh, let me uh, maybe model my game after him because, I mean, he's really uh, shined you know, despite, you know, uh, going through this one injury and now he's, you know, one of the top linebackers in our conference. So um, who else is uh, coming up in the program now there at Merrimack that I need to know, by the way? Oh, excuse me. Uh, who's still at the program? Uh, my roommate, uh, Darian McKenzie, he's, he's uh, unfortunately he had a season ending injury last year, but he'll be, he'll be returning this year. Uh, definitely, definitely see big things coming from him. Uh, Donovan Wadley, he was a freshman this past year, but, uh, with his hard work and the way he makes plays, I uh, definitely see, see him being next person you'll be interviewing in the next couple of years. Interesting. Um, yeah, dude, um, again, um, some really good talent coming out of Merrimack these days and, um, we'll see, uh, these, uh, next coming, you know, upcoming seasons to see how that works out. So. Uh, but you finished your career there uh, very well and um, afterwards ended up getting as an invitation to a couple of uh, all-star events, the FCS and Tropical Bowl. Um, talk to me a little bit about your overall overall experience with uh, those events. Uh, I, uh, my overall experience was uh, fun. You know, it was, it was fun to go down south and play in some nice weather because <laughs> it was in December, so I'm in Mass, so it was pretty cold up here. Uh, I believe uh, the, the competition level was great. Uh, I saw people from D2, from yeah, like D2, D3, all the way up to big FBS schools. So uh, the competition level was great, high energy. And I uh, got a chance to talk to a couple of scouts while I was down there. So I was pretty, pretty much overall happy with my production over my camps. Interesting. So you talked to a couple of scouts. Um, how did those interviews work out? I mean, did they throw any weird questions your way aside from the fact that hey man you want to do do some safety or, or any other weird questions that they threw your way uh no nah, not, nothing nothing too weird it was just basic questions they just wanted to get to know me uh my background things of that sort cool well i mean hopefully uh this interview that we're doing will help out the rest of the pro teams out there so um so yeah you you uh, participated in those events did you have any um uh, other highlights about your time down uh, in Florida, um, you know, participating in those? I mean, whether it be some of the re relationships that you've built or, you know, even any play that you made in the scrimmage? Uh, I believe uh, if I were to talk about one, I would say in the FCS Bowl uh, during the one-on-one -on -one periods, uh, I will, uh, that's where I really excelled at showing my man-to-man -man skills, guarding people at the backfield. Uh, I had an interview with Let's see his name real quick jeff barnes he's a nfl draft analyst uh after the the fcs bowl day one uh he saw that i was covering uh, people well at the backfield and uh running down field and he was like he didn't he didn't know how uh he expected me to move because i was a linebacker and kicker turner so he was very curious but when he saw me cover he was like okay you know this kid this kid could do a pretty good job yeah i mean uh obviously a dude that i personally feel that can cover um, can do a whole lot of things. I mean, you've kind of uh, showcased that throughout your career. Um, but I kind of want to hear it from you, man. I mean, um, uh, give me some of these, uh, you know, 
great moments, maybe one of your best memories of you playing there for Merrimack. I mean, if there's like a game or dude, even like a specific play that you were a part of, um, that's maybe one of your biggest highlights. Um, my biggest highlights. Um, actually, it's, uh, my biggest highlight for me is not even a play. Uh, it was, <laughs> it was uh, Duquesne uh, this past year. Of uh, was it the fourth game, maybe fourth or fifth game we were playing? Uh, it was the last drive of the game. They're down by, I think, not even a touchdown, and uh, we're on defense. And I told the defense on the sideline, like, we, we have to go back out there. We have to lean on each other. You have to count on your brother. And we, we just have to believe that we're going to win this game. Because this was, like, uh, one of those uh, milestone games for, like, the the program. Because, you know, Duquesne's a powerhouse in the in the NEC, one of those teams. So if we can get a win like that under our belt early, it's going to give us great morale for the rest of the season. So this was a game that we really wanted to win. And I try to make try to emphasize that, you know, on the defense that, you know, we count on each other, we lean on each other, you know, we're going to get this done. And then we got the results we wanted. And then uh, we we jumped in their pool. <laughs> you jumped in their pool? Uh, yeah, whole team did. Holy crap, man. That's a big insult. But I mean, <laughs> hey, you know, if that's the way you guys roll, man, I mean, uh, go for it. Um, but um, uh, all right, man. Well, uh, let's take a moment to talk about who this Rodney Sampson guy is outside of football. So uh, tell me something about yourself that maybe not everybody knows, um, whether it's your hobbies, personal interests or um, anything you want to share about yourself, man, that you uh, think might interest some people. <laughs> Uh, some hobbies of mine, uh, I like to uh, do video editing. Uh, so uh, I thought about getting into YouTube and like Twitch streaming a few times. So I would uh, make videos and then just edit them by myself on my free times. Even if I don't post or anything like that, I just like to get myself comfortable just to see what I could do with the edits and things of that sort. So you do your own highlight film or what? Uh, I, I don't do my own highlight film. That's something I'm still like trying to figure out work on how to do. But when it comes to you know, gaming and like gaming such as like Madden, uh, things like that, I can I can edit it. Interesting. So you just kind of edit it to make you, yourself win? I mean, is that how it works <laughs> out or what? Uh, no. So usually uh, I'll play a game. I'll have, I'll have a recording of myself so you can see the gameplay and then my reaction. And then I'll edit, edit everything together. Okay, so it'll, it'll you're just meshing it all together and making it like okay, I I I feel you there. So, um, a couple other questions, uh, dude, talk to me about your hometown. I mean, I know you said that you're a New York kid, um, so um, talk to me about your hometown and um, what makes it special to you. And dude, even if I were to come up and visit you, like where what where, where would we go? What would we do? Uh, okay, so I mean, I'm from Westchester County. Uh, there's a bunch of towns in the county. I lived in bunch of different towns uh, I moved around a lot as a kid but if I were to take you around Westchester um I'll probably take you to where I live currently in uh White Plains uh it's building up it's pretty nice pretty nice town I like it but I'm from originally Osney New York a small little village that's where I grew up playing Pop Warner football and where I met some of my closest friends to this day nice um uh so again just a couple more quick questions to throw your way um uh, favorite cheat meal favorite cheat meal the cereal count it, whatever is a uh, cheat to you man <laughs> dude if it's uh fruit loops i mean or, or honeycombs or whatever uh, I, mean, I don't know yeah i would probably say cereal i have at least two to three bowls of cereal a night all right man well favorite cereal then give it give that to me <laughs> uh fruity uh mm, right now i'll say fruity pebbles it, 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 it varies month to month so one one month i might buy three boxes of captain crunch the next, I might buy two boxes of Apple Jacks. Like it, it all depends on my mood. Wow, fruity pebbles. Um, uh, j just uh, uh, something to keep in mind. Take them fruity pebbles and make uh, rice crispy treats. Thank me later. Okay. So, um. Anyway, so uh, a couple more. Um, favorite lift in the weight room. Favorite lift in the weight room. Uh, I would either say bench or box jumps box jumps i always thought that that was an interesting thing that people do in the weight room so um have you ever thought about uh, perhaps um you know uh, what you would do with the platform of being a professional athlete i mean if uh, maybe you would uh, take 
uh, your resources and put that towards like a charity or cause? Like, have you ever thought about like maybe what you would do with um, your position? Uh, yeah. So um, I definitely, for charity wise, I definitely wanted to look into uh, mental health and things of that sort. Cause I had a friend uh, who passed away. What is it? Two years, two years now, uh, two years ago from uh, suicide. So that's something that uh, means a lot to me. So something that I would, I would love to get into and just help anybody out there. Interesting. Well, certainly something that's very important, especially with athletes, I think. I mean, I think that um, people um, put this macho image on everybody um, and uh, they don't want to seek help. Um, so certainly seek help. Uh, appreciate that, man. Um, um, all right. Well, right now, buddy, I know you're training. Um, you're working towards a pro day um, and hopefully going to go out there and showcase your uh, talent. Um, what do you what are your personal expectations about your pro day? Uh, my personal expectations? Uh, I mean, I'm just hoping to go out there and just, uh, to, I mean, to be very broad, just do the best I can do. I know it's a very generic answer, but, uh, you know, just the best of my abilities is just uh, not overthink anything. Just go out there and just treat it as if it was a Saturday game. Just go out there and just do what I have to do and take care of business. And which one of those drills do you feel like the most confident in that you're going to deliver a really solid, uh, you know, performance? in? I mean, is it is it the vert? Is it the 40? Which one of those things um, are you, uh, you know, very, you know, the most confident in? uh right now uh i'll probably say the vert uh i have the vertical record on the jump mat at, at uh merrimack right now as a 39.3 so holy crap <laughs> so i have i have big expectations when it comes to my vert nice well dude i mean as a linebacker i mean uh very athletic i mean and personally i feel like you're athletic enough to play safety so that i mean uh maybe that's how uh, you know some teams are going to view you i don't know um, but, uh, dude, there's going to be some scouts there to look at you and, uh, hopefully give you that opportunity, but, um, I want you to go ahead and close this out, um, with, uh, just kind of talking to all them scouts right now, tell them what they would be getting if they took a chance on you and brought you into their franchise. So, uh, hit them with your pitch. Um, uh, my pitch to any team out there watching this is that if you pick up Rodney Sampson, you're going to get someone that's going to work nonstop. Uh, football is all I know and all I breathe. I'll be the first one at the facility and the last one to leave because trust me, I have nothing else better to do with my time. <laughs> uh, no problem studying extra with the coaches, anything like that. Uh, football is just what I love to do. Well, dude, I know it's it's been a dream of yours ever since you were a little kid. Um, I feel like there is going to be a team that's going to say, hey, why don't you come over here and I don't know what the heck we're going to do with you, but we're going to find a role for you, whether that be special teams, linebacker, safety, or in, anywhere in between. Dude, even if they want to put you back on offense, I'm I'm sure you could uh, pick that right back up again. But um, I do think that you have a lot uh, going for you as a prospect, and I just wish you best of luck moving forward. Thank all right, you. man? Appreciate that. Um, so once again, I got with me Rodney Sampson. He's a linebacker out of Merrimack. Uh, uh, definitely uh, check him out.